We've just heard of the interesting new incubator at the College of Law and Business, as well as the immense contribution of more experienced entrepreneurs to the startup nation ecosystem. And so our next guest is currently taking part in this incubator with a new startup called Mars, which makes visitor centers and educational experiences come alive through augmented reality tech. And here to tell us all about it is Ori Noam, co-founder and CEO of Mars. Welcome. Hello. So why don't we jump right in and you can tell us a little bit about Mars. What, what do you do? Sure. Well, in Mars, we help visitor centers to come alive with personalized mix and augmented reality storytelling. And that's fancy words for saying that you can take your phone or a tablet or even a head-mounted device and you can go in any venue or even at the street and see augmented layers all around you and see uh, key moments of history or even uh, ancient structures uh, and dramatize all kinds of moments. Uh, mm -hmm. It's an amazing thing, I, I guess. Like You can see here like uh, David and Goliath in a Tower of David. You can actually take parts of history and place the characters from history in the actual place where history happened. Mm -hmm. That's great. And what stage is a startup in right now? Well, we're launching our first product uh, in two months, and it will be in the Tower of David. And we are now developing other, product, uh, other products and other um, uh, content as well. So for our viewers who may not know, the Tower of David is a very well-known museum in the old city of Jerusalem. And as we can see in the background, right? Uh, so you said the story of David and Goliath is coming to life. Yeah, exactly. You can so go. I'll walk into the yeah sure let's take into a walk. the into the uh, Tower of David Museum. I'll hold up my tablet and this is what I'll see. Yeah, exactly. You'll have a guide, uh, uh, a red head uh, uh, boy, and he will be your guide. He will take you through time back. I don't want to tell too much, but mm -hmm. uh, you'll go back into back in time, back in time into the biblical times, and you'll see all kinds of key moments mm -hmm. and. Actually, you can even have a, a few uh, gamified experience and a lot of information. Mm -hmm. So I guess it would be nice for uh, younger people as well as uh, their parents. And I'm curious, where did the idea come from for this? Well, actually, in Mars, we are people who uh, were coming from both tech and storytelling. I'm myself a director, and while doing a commercial for a big bank, it was a commercial in 360 degrees. And we realized that there is a huge potential in this three-dimensional world, but there isn't any language to tell a story, right? Mm -hmm. So we sat together and we've made this product. And actually, the, the special thing that we do is that we make the uh, experiences very personalized. That means that the, the content itself would react to the way that you behave in the three-dimensional environment. Mm -hmm. So if you find an interest in a specific part of the story, the story will react to that and will give you that storyline. Okay, and you've brought with you a clip, so let's take a look. Sure. So I really like that you can take a selfie oh, yeah. <laughs> with one of the images. Yeah, sure, that's a lot of fun. So I'm actually curious as well, why you decided to join the incubator? Well, it was a very, it's a great opportunity for us. There are all kinds of mentors. And I think that the sit together with other startups, uh, that could be very beneficial 
for us and for other startups as well. And well, the connection with the students of the College uh, of Law and Business, that could be very helpful as well in terms of uh, doing all kinds of uh, research, uh, etc. So right, so we heard that the startups bring the experience and the know-how, and then you sort of work together with the students at the college who help you. What exactly do they do that they help you? They research things. I mean, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's mostly about uh, research. And of course, there are young people with great ideas, so we are happy to, to, to hear them. And uh, it is mostly about business research, markets, um, and mentors as well, in the, mostly in the business side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask, um, you know, you're in, we'll call it an older entrepreneur, though. I don't think you're that old. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, do you think that there are some challenges that you face being an older entrepreneur versus, let's say, these young kids coming straight out of the army? Well, I wouldn't say that. Well, it is true that the incubator, uh, most of the startups are people above 40. Uh, we are not. I'm 36 and my partners are as well. And for me, it's the moment that I had the idea with my friends and we developed it, we found the opportunity to take it to the next step. So I, I couldn't feel that, but I do know that young people going out of the army from all kinds of units would find it more easy to, to evolve in this world. So I, uh, this is a very nice opportunity. Mm -hmm. And do you think that on the contrary, the fact that you do have, you come there with a lot of experience under your belt, you know, in the as a director and your friends coming from the tech world, that this gives you an advantage maybe over these, these younger generation? Well, I would say that it's, it is very beneficial. It, it's, it's nice to have, but you know, you, you are uh, having conversation with all kinds of people and uh, you get the knowledge when you need it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're 36 and we have a lot of knowledge, but there are Older people is much more knowledge than <laughs> You're us. You're saying there's older people yeah, than you. Yeah, we can. We are in the position to learn from other people as mm -hmm. well. But it is true. We are in. The, uh, we have an, enough knowledge to do what we do in a very uh, good way. And but we're always happy to learn some more. Okay. Well, Oli, thank you so much for taking the time thank to you speak for with us me. today.